Hello everyone, welcome back to my journalism of the hard news channel. The story for today is Max George has said it was an honor carrying Tom Parker's coffin in a further tribute to his late bandmate. A wanted singer died on March 30, age 33 following a two-year battle with stage 4 glioblastoma and was laid to rest on Wednesday. Max, 33, joined Sheba Kanaswaran, Jay McGuinness and Nathan Sykes as pallbearers, where they were photographed carrying Tom's coffin into St. Francis of Assisi Parish Church in Petswood. Taking to Instagram on Friday evening, Max wrote a poignant message alongside photos from the funeral. Good night, beautiful boy, I will always think of you, thanks for making my life so much better than I could ever have hoped for. Carrying you was an honor, you have carried me so many times over the last 12 years. I love you Tom, see you up there brother, the post read, the singer was immediately inundated with support, as people rushed to like and comment. Actress Martine McCutcheon wrote, beautiful words, you have such a big heart and was the bestest friend anyone could have wished for. What you shared in one life, was the equivalent of 50 for many others. 1-1 one, one, sending you all my love darling. Martine Forex, Lawson star Andy Brown, Strictly's Nancy Zhu, and Union J singer Josh Cuthbert were also among those rallying round the grieving star. Max chose an image of his late friend framed with flowers for the cover image, while also sharing photos of the floral arrangements which read Tom and the band's 2011 hit Glad You Came. A final photo captured Max and Jay carrying the coffin into the church. Earlier this week, James Argent revealed that Tom Parker was able to stay strong during his cancer battle because of his wife Kelsey's love and support. Former TOWIE star Arg, 34, described Kelsey as the wanted star's rock as he spoke about his friend on Thursday's Good Morning Britain. The reality star said Tom managed to stay strong throughout his brain cancer battle because of the love and support Kelsey gave him. Speaking to Kate Garraway and Richard Bacon, James explained, Kelsey was like Tom's rock and the reason why he was so strong and was doing well for so long was because of her hard work, love and support. He was a close pal of Tom and his wife Kelsey Hardwick, having previously worked with him and performed at the couple's 2018 Stag Do. James said he asked Kelsey's permission to appear on the chat show, adding, I checked with Kelsey before I came on today, to make sure she was happy, and she was really keen on me coming on. She didn't want me to just talk about me and Tom's friendship, just the fact of how much of an incredible person he was and to raise awareness. The reality TV star, who was speaking one day after Tom's funeral, described the service as beautiful as he said he could feel his friend's presence there. He added, the funeral was extremely sad at times, it was tough for everyone, however there were really special beautiful moments throughout the day and it really felt like Tom's presence was there. It couldn't have gone any better, the sun was shining. James gave a heartfelt tribute to his friend as he gushed that everyone adored Tom and admitted that the singer had helped him through many difficult times. Tom was amazing, he was a real spiritual person and he was always giving advice and he was very caring and loving. We all adored him, James said, James and Tom have been longtime pals after meeting on reality TV series The Jump in 2016, when they shared a house for six weeks in Austria during filming. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.